This episode of Techzilla is sponsored by Domain.com. We have an email from Joe who writes in, Hey now, here is a website that might help if you're not sure if you should remove any unused or unnecessary programs from your computers caused by constant downloading. Now the site is shouldiremoveit.com. You can search by the name of the program or by its publisher. It tells you whether or not it has a bad reputation via rating system, and it also offers a downloadable program. You can choose to uninstall it or click what is it, which will take you directly to the site explaining to you what it is and if you should remove it. Oh, and by the way, it is virus-free. Just thought I'd throw that out there for the world to see. Thank you and love the return of the full format and HD Nation. Joe in Cedarol, Mexico. Thanks, Joe. So let's take a look at how the software works. Um, I installed it here on this Lenovo machine. Um, it's pretty neat. So you can see right here the removal percent. This is what the community has been removing in terms of software. Um, luckily, we don't have any actual red programs on right. this machine right now. Um, a different machine than I installed it on earlier today uh, was completely clear. It was all low end well, green stuff. It's funny, like you hit Control Alt Delete, you open up mm -hmm. your task manager. You're like, what the heck is that? Why is that running there? What does that do? Is that right. malware? Is that a virus? And that's where this application comes So we in. can see something like updater by Sweet Packs. If we click on the what is it button, like Joe was mentioning, it brings you to the should I remove it site and gives you an overview of the uh, type of software it is, what people are saying about it, and if there are warnings. Now this says warning, multiple antivirus scanners have detected possible malware in updater by Sweet Packs. Um, so then you can just go back to the piece of software here, click back that and click uninstall. Yes, we are pretty sure. And it should take you to the uh, the uninstaller for either that software or the general Windows uninstaller. Um, so I think that's it's a pretty useful application. I mean, it took like two seconds to download, mm -hmm. two seconds to install. Um, it is not very, it's not bloated itself at right. all. Uh, and like Joe said, it doesn't have any virus associated with it either. So you know, I can't really see a reason not to install this if you have a <laughs> Windows machine that you're checking out. What if it turns out to be a malware distribution pack? Um, that would be bad, <laughs> and I would feel bad for talking about it on the show. But right now. It's seems to be pretty clear. Some, something I want to point out while we're, we're talking about malware and irritating things being loaded on your computer, we get a bunch of emails. Every so often we get an email, it's like, hey, I installed that software, you reviewed, and it put a toolbar on my browser, and you guys suck, and you should test the software. We test every piece of software we talk about on the show, especially in the daily tips. One of the things we want to remind you to do is use the custom install even when you don't want to do a custom install. Because if you don't use the custom install and you don't look at every single step before you hit next, you probably will end up installing some irritating toolbar on your computer because the people making the software want to make money. And in order to do that, they often bundle in options where they get some money every time a toolbar or something else gets installed in your mm -hmm. computer. Choose custom install, look at every step step, and that'll help to make sure that you don't install extra bits of software like toolbars, since toolbars seem to be the most annoying toolbar yes. thing on the planet. And also, typically, we tend to tell you guys if there is some kind right. of you know third-party installer packed in with the software that we're talking about. I think you know on the dailies, that happens sometimes, right. but we're always pretty good about telling you, now it's going to ask you to install some other crap. Don't install that crap. That means... Unless you want that crap. That, yeah, that means pay attention to every step. Don't just hit next, 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 next. Right. And if there's an option to do a custom install, look at that that except whatever it tells you to do unless it tells you to do something you don't want to do like install additional software. Common sense people. All right. <laughs> we have still more to come up on the show including a look at the Ouya, but right now it is time to thank one of our sponsors. <laughs> Entrepreneurs and innovators are all turning ideas into realities online backed by the strength of a .NET domain name. .NET is one of the world's most popular domain extensions, and a .NET domain name from Domain.com will inject your business with instant credibility. Entrepreneurs and innovators will immediately discover the advantages of building their web presence around a .NET domain name. Already have a .com? Purchase the corresponding .NET from Domain.com and protect your online brand. Is the .com you want already taken? The .NET is a perfect alternative. We like Domain.com because they're affordable. .NET addresses are only $8.99 a year. They're reliable and easy to use. The guys at Domain.com want to hook up our fans with an awesome offer. Get 20% off their already affordable domain names and web hosting when you use the coupon code TECHZILLA at Domain.com's checkout. That's 20% and big time savings. Don't forget to use the coupon code TECHZILLA. Hey, and when you think domain names, think Domain.com.